Hi everyone, welcome to Greek Mommy Cooks. My name's Helene. Today I wanted to talk to you about Kularaika cookies. It's a classic butter cookie in Greece. It looks a little bit like this. It's a cute little twist cookie and many moms know how to make this in many Greek American homes such as myself. Many yayas know how and kids love it. It has basic ingredients such as butter, sugar, eggs, orange juice, vanilla, flour, baking powder, a little baking soda. So let's get started. I already prepared my dough and I've let it sit for about an hour. I got a great tip at my church the other week. We were making Kularaika cookies for our annual Greek Bazaar, which is the first weekend in November, by the way, every year for over 50 years. Anyway, the experts were there. The ladies who have been making these for years, the yayas and the great chefs of our church. So they said, Helene, do you want some good tips? And I said, of course. And they said, you gotta let your dough sit for a little bit so it can absorb, the flour can absorb all that butter. These cookies have to have the right texture and consistency to come out good. So I've let mine sit, and I'm actually using an ice cream scooper to get the correct measurement for them. And I shape it into a little dough ball, and I'm gonna roll it out into a snake-like tube, and then I'm gonna shape it into a U-shape and do two little twists, just like that, and put it on my baking sheet. So let's go over this again. So I get my correct scoop, and I shape it into a ball, and then I'm rolling it out. I put paper down on my counter because I don't want them to get too messed up, so it's just an easy tip you can do too. Okay, I have my U, and I do two twists. Real cute like that, and I put it on my tray. One more time so you really get it. So I get the correct amount. This is such a great cookie you can do all year for your family and your children. It's light, and you can adjust the amount of sugar that you want in the cookie. They don't have to be super sweet. So do the twists, just like that, and put it on the tray. So I like to use parchment paper on my trays because it makes the cookies come out really nice and crisp. I've prepared an egg glaze, which I'm gonna brush over the cookies, just like that. You don't need to saturate them, you just need to get a little bit on there. And you can sprinkle them with sesame seeds or shaved almonds, whatever you like. I prefer to leave them off because my kids are a little picky and then some people have allergies as well. So you can do whatever you would like with that. I hope you try to make this cookie. It's a great cookie and it's a classic in Greece. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.